Connect the suction hose to the primary filter inlet. Connect the return to tank hose to the water separator outlet. Insert the return to tank manifold into the tank opening. Insert the fluid pickup tube through the manifold into the tank. Connect the static ground cable to the tank to prevent sparks. Set the selector valve to the separate water position. Open the dry fuel return to tank valve on top of the water separator. Open the primary filter inlet valve. Connect the separated wastewater discharge hose to the separator outlet. Place the other end of the discharge hose into a waste drum. Open the primary filter housing cover. Prime with two gallons of clean diesel fuel. Replace the cover with the swing bolts hand tight. Raise the pickup tube 10 inches above the tank bottom and turn on the switch. Observe the sight tube as the fuel level rises. Make sure to notice the fuel color. When the sight tube is full of fuel, lower the pickup tube to the tank bottom to begin removing water. Observe the sight tube as the water level rises. When the water level is halfway up the sight tube, open the separated wastewater discharge valve to drain the separator. Then watch as the water drains from the tube. When the water level is near the bottom of the sight tube, close the drain water valve. The separated water level will continue to rise as it is being separated from the fuel. Repeat the draining steps until all of the water has been removed from the fuel. You will know the filtering is complete when the water level stops rising in the sight tube. When the separated water stops rising, drain the separator completely. and turn off the switch.